legends welcome back today we're gonna be watching cars 2 and i thought why not because you all seem to really enjoy watching cars 1 with me so we're gonna do that you know what's fun though as well about watching these movies now is because i finally learned to drive and that's something i've been wanting to do for so long and now though because i have passed i am looking to learn something new Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I've been wanting to learn more about creative writing. As you all know, I talk a lot about writing my own books and Myla Goldberg's class Creative Writing Bootcamp Start a Brand New Story has been extremely helpful for me. And thanks to Skillshare, this has been an extremely easy process, easier than it has been before on my previous two books. The best thing about these classes as well on Skillshare is I can learn these in the comfort of my own home and I can learn them at my own pace. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creators with thousands of classes led by experts in a large variety of industries such as film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity and so much more. You name it, Skillshare probably has it. Skillshare can help you take your career, skills, hobbies, passions or side hustles to the next level with their amazing range of resources available in their classes. And when you didn't think Skillshare could get any better, just you wait. They said we can do better and they did. They now have learning paths. Learning paths, you might go, mm, what is that? you'd be right to be intrigued because I was too. Learning paths are a set of curated classes that build upon one another. With these, whether you are a beginner or advanced in the thing you wanna learn further, Skillshare will have something for you. For instance, I have taken the Procreate learning path. Procreate is an app on iPad, I think also maybe iPhone, regardless, it's an app that I've used for years now to draw and to create my thumbnails for my videos. And I really wanted to deepen my skill set on this app and being able to take that learning path on Skillshare was very valuable. And what better time to learn something new than during the summer holidays? I feel like when it's summer break, everyone kind of has more time for their passions and hobbies and therefore you may want to pick up a new skill or delve deeper into one you previously had and you want to maybe further that skill, take it to the next level, and with Skillshare you can. Because I know, with me and my writing, I've been itching to learn more this summer, and it's been really exciting to have this opportunity to explore a new side of my creativity. And if this sounds like something you would also like to do this summer with me, Skillshare are here to help you out. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. That's right, you can use my link. Thank you so much to Skillshare for once again for sponsoring today's video. So yeah, I'm excited to watch this second movie. Let's see where Lightning McQueen's at. It's gonna be a lot more nicer to watch this time around because he's probably not gonna be as much of a jerk as he was in the first one because we've had that character arc. But let's just jump straight into this movie. If you wanted to check me out on my socials, feel free to follow me over on my Instagram. Feel free to also subscribe to this channel and check me out on my Patreon if you want to see the full length reaction to Cars 1 and now Cars 2. Cars 3 will be coming out at a later date. Okay, let's do this. A classic. Wow, I should do their voiceover. They should hire me. I don't know why that's not been in the calls yet. <laughs> Baffling. Are you a British man? Oh, I'm such a hater. Because I couldn't care less about the British. Yes, I am British myself. Oh, maybe Lightning McQueen was put into a movie after his win. Okay, though, this opening going hard. Oh, that was crisp. That was clean. It's actually insulting how good that was. Like that five seconds. This has to be Lightning McQueen has been cast in a movie because this is so out of pocket. Okay, no offense to them, but I don't care about this part. I just want to see Lightning McQueen, you know? Lightning McQueen, oh. They're gonna squash you next. Please can they, because he's British. I said take him. Take him. And when are they gonna cut and tell me that this is a movie? When are we gonna see Lightning McQueen watching his favorite movie star? 
Because I thought like this is where this is going. And he's going to be a part of the movie in some way. Ooh! Might have the highest kill rating in any Disney movie. Sorry, I am blanking because this part is going on too long. I don't care about this. Oh, he actually could get shot? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> That's who is here to help you. Wait, so that wasn't fake? That was like a real part of the life? I thought that was a movie thing they were setting up, but no. This is just a character we'll see later, but he's actually a British spy car. <laughs> okay, Disney really just like had a map. They threw a dart at it and said, we'll do this for the plot. That better be free on the house if he's been treated like that. Oh, although that was swift delivery. No, oh, they have a little handshake as well now. Does he know it's true friendship? The handshake's never complete. I know Doc said these things were just old cups, but to have someone else win it just didn't feel right, you know? What, is he dead in this universe? He's dead? It's the racing- this, Is Doc dead? Is that what they're hinting? I didn't think the cars would die. They're cars! We'll do whatever you want tomorrow. Okay. Thanks for understanding. Yeah, sure. Y'all go on and have fun now. Alright then. See you soon, amigo. He's third wheeling, but I mean, I guess he did have the whole day with Lightning McQueen. Well, what'd you think? I just snuck in here when nobody was looking and pretended to be your waiter just so I could hang out with you? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> how ridiculous would that be? Now, I hope their friendship doesn't go downhill this movie because I feel like they're already hinting that that might happen. Alternative energy is the future. Trust me now, after seeing All In All in action at the World Grand Prix, nobody will ever- Is Lightning gonna go to the World Grand Prix? But I guess he's not a race car, is he? Or is he, am I dumb? Did I just say that the dumbest thing for this universe? You're on, caller. Yeah, that I died. Uh, <laughs> it's a number one fan. Like me the McQueen, eh? Look, I don't appreciate my best friend being insulted like that. McQueen, that was your best friend. Oh. It's not unrealistic that we have cars talking. It was unrealistic because they had this much time for a phone in call talk on the talk show here. I know, I just got back, but we won't oh, be long. No, don't worry about me. I mean, I got enough to do here. Mayor's gonna have to last, though. You're bringing Mater, right? You never bring him to any of your races. Yeah, take your bestie. He's so adorable. <laughs> This is a car's equivalent of a facelift. Why does Span sound familiar though? It reminded me a bit of Weezer, but I know it's not Weezer. Uh, see, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master. Master. Got on the leash. Check out that tow truck, man. I wonder who that guy's with. Uh, will you guys excuse me just for one little second? No, we're making fun of Mater though. Mater's so adorable. They're so mean to pick on him. Like, let him be a little quirky. Don't let anyone dull his shine. The women respect the car that has nothing to hide. Yeah, uh... <laughs> let us have a toast. Let's. I dedicate my win tomorrow to Miss Sally. Oh, sorry, I... That is a low blow. He can't be doing that. That's disrespectful. The disrespect is potent. <gasps> Wait, this is the spy man. He's, like, working a job. Maybe... The Italian car is like, you know, the man he needs to find. Like, maybe he's the dodgy one. What did they learn about the camera? It appears to be a standard television camera. They said if you could get closer photos next time, that would be great. Watch Major as well in the end help them solve this case. Because he's a legend and everyone's going to shun him in this movie. In the world. I'm not having that? it. They've been scrambling everyone's satellite. I'm technical, you see. I'm in diagnostics. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a field agent. You are now. Wow, she's been upgraded. Does she get the promotion money, though? You know, if she's doing all the extra work, will she get paid? Will he share some of that? I can explain. This is Mater. He's... No, I know him. This is the bloke that called into the television show. You're the one I have to thank. No, thank you. See, Lightning McQueen's embarrassed by him. But, but he's adorable. I'm hating the Mater slander. I never leak. I never leak. Never leak. I just know he's somehow going to get involved with this whole B plot of the spy man. Little bidet. Prepare to be 
I'm doing a little fart on his way out. Well, hello. A Volkswagen Common Gear has no radiator. Well, of course it doesn't. That's because it's air cool. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, I'm from the Tokyo station. Oh, they're so stupid having that as their code word to use. Well, I don't know anything about cars, so maybe it's like you wouldn't say that unless you knew the code word. I see you again. Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll be out there at the races. Got it. We'll rendezvous then. Oh, there you are. He thinks he's finding himself a girlfriend. Poor mate. I didn't know he was going to be the star of this movie, though. What's so funny? Well, you know, I was just wearing a disguise. You guys are stuck looking like that. But I just realized how rude that was. You guys are stuck looking like that? I'd cry if I was the cause. Which one's your associate? Your mother. Oh no, I'm sorry, <laughs> it was your sister. You know? Your mum? Your sister joke? Okay, Disney. That's him. He's the one. Roger that, Professor Z. No! Oh, this is getting messy. Because my literally knows nothing. <laughs> they killed that man, Z? I thought he was going to be in the whole movie. Speed. I am speed. <laughs> oh, that's such a callback to the first movie. Yeah, tires. I'm kind of nervous because there's a lack of background music, which means probably something's going to go wrong. I don't think he's going to win this race, though. He might win maybe the last two or the last one in London or something. But I don't think he's winning this one. That can't happen this early in the movie. One of the best I've seen, too. Look at the detail on that rust. It must have cost him a fortune. Wait, that car didn't die? Wait, I'm so confused. That must have been a different car altogether then. Yesterday. Not yesterday, in the place where they put the car on fire. Wow, I love words. Is the first to take advantage. And just like that, if I was Francesco, I'd be embarrassed. He's sloppy out there. That's embarrassing. After all the game he talked up. Now the racers hit the Rainbow Bridge with its 360. Rainbow Bridge? Okay, just steal from Mario Kart. Oh, okay, so they did pretend to eliminate him. Well, they did eliminate him, but he survived it. I mean, he does have wings and he has a little submarine part, so I guess I shouldn't be shocked. I'm glad we finally cleared that up. That was really confusing me. Don't go in anywhere, just keep moving. Stay outside. Got outside? <gasps> no. And he's gonna blame Mater and their friendship's gonna blow up in their faces. I called this and I don't like it. I don't want them to not be friends. This is so mean. Right, this movie's kill count is very high. They just keep taking out car after car. If someone could let me know the kill count, like the official kill count in this movie, that'd be grand because it's already so high and we're only like half an hour in. Race because of you. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Imaginary girlfriend. Imaginary. She's not imaginary. Let's put some respect to Mater's name. I could help. I don't need your help. I don't want your help. Hey, there he is. I don't like seeing Mater sad. His face looks so adorable when he's sad. And who thought we'd say that about a car? It won't happen again. Cause Mater's been fired. Oh, he's being sent home. And his old colours were showing because he had his bath. He was scrubber dub dubbed. <laughs> I can't tell whether this is just madness or geniusness. Like this this second movie plot. Like is it a little too elaborate or did we draw that line when they started saying that cars could talk? More races. I want you to go prove to the world what I already know. <gasps> Don't Luigi crying. That's one of the worst engines ever made. It's an old aluminum V8 with a Lucas electrical system and a Whitworth bolts. Shoot, and Whitworth bolts is a pain. Look at him being so smart. We love to see it. Beta, what would you say to setting up an informal task force on this one? Wait. What? I love how we just accidentally fell into this. This is the job market these days. It's about who you know, not what you know. Although he did get it from what he knows as well, but it was accidental and because he knows these people. You know, I always wanted to be a spy. Really? Me too. Afterburners, sir. Oh, it's actually going to become his girlfriend. I would love that for him. <laughs> Who's watching the Olympics right now? Because they're in Paris. I know it's like being a flop, kind of. No offense to anyone that's French watching. Oh, yeah. 
<gasps> oh my god, that was a Ratatouille reference. Because obviously Remy's here and that was Gaston's. I did not expect that. I love that they did that. I love little Easter eggs like that in movies. I'm actually shocked at that. Um, Lightning McQueen is barely getting any screen time in this movie when you think of Cars as being his movies. But this one is actually mainly about Mata and this whole spy mission thing. That's a wild take. But I guess they can't make every movie about racing all the time because that would just become a bit redundant. <gasps> Isn't that the same mountainside from The Incredibles as well? I swear they went on that mountainside. <gasps> that's, 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 isn't that um Peter, Peter, Robin Hood cosplay basically? Oh, for a second there I thought you was trying to fix my dance. Yes, I was. Well, they no thank you. I don't get them dance buff, pulled, filled, or painted by nobody. They way too valuable. Your dance are valuable. He's so adorable. He deserves this whole movie for himself. I don't fix these. I want to remember these dance forever. So you- Oh, not a movie about cars making me want to cry. Say no more. I'll work around the dent. Uh, in the meantime- <sighs> I wouldn't know what I'd do if they took away his dents. Safety. An independent panel of scientists has determined that all in all is completely- Maybe Mars, the bad guy though. So the race maybe. Maybe they're doing like a whole billionaires of bad people thing. Even though Disney is a billionaire company. Billion dollar company? Trillion dollar company? So it'd be quite ironic if they did take that angle, but I'd get why they do it as well. McQueen, is everything okay? If no, because he doesn't have his bestie. I just really wish Mater were here. Exactly. I am at home, and my mama is right here. Yes, it'd be great if he loses now, because he could lose in his hometown. That'd be a big slap to his face. I would like to see that. Did you say idiot? Is that how you see me? That's how everyone sees you. Isn't that the idea? I tell you, that's the genius of it. No one realizes they're being fooled because they're too busy laughing at the fool. Brilliant. Not them breaking his heart. My heart breaks from this movie. I am so sad for him. He really, they were, they're so mean to him. Like that was so insensitive. Made it deserves the whole world and so much better. I can't wait though for the friendship to make it again at the end of the movie between him and Lightning McQueen because he needs that. But I guess that makes sense, seeing how you wanted in France and Germany Mater, and the Czech it. Republic. It's so okay. silly. Yeah, you know we love Mater, but it is a bit hard to defend him when he is being this stupid. Love He's supposed to be here any minute. Is the big boss the billionaire man? <gasps> Doug. Eh, oh. Welcome, everyone. I wish I could be with you on this very special day, but oh. my clutch assembly broke. British, he's gonna be in he's gonna be in England. Look at me being the spy, yeah. British, British, I'm just saying he's gonna be in England. I'm working on it. <laughs> so the millionaire has to be working with them. Although why do you want his oil to look like this, I guess? Why do you want it to look dodgy? Because his business is going into the ground because of them. So never mind, I don't think it's the millionaire man. Billionaire, sorry. And we, the owners of the world's largest untapped oil reserve, will become the most powerful Is this so in lame? But at least the motive makes sense. He wants people to like use his gasoline and not the natural power or whatever it is, the alternative power. That makes sense. I like that it is a well thought out motive. <gasps> oh, there's such hated behaviour. That's kind of embarrassing as much well, being forklifted by a magnet. As a car, I would not be caught dead looking like that. It would be Lightning McQueen. Okay, it's not Lightning McQueen. Oh, buddy. Billionaire guy, his company's being run into the ground. McQueen's the winner. Francesco second. And they have no idea what happened. That's what I want to hear. Because he won in his hometown. Oh, that's too good. It's too good. The final race will not be run on all in all. There you have it. Nice. Dang it. <laughs> They're such haters though. This is just like the incel group of cars. All in all must be finished for good. McQueen cannot win the last race. These incels are so dramatic. Get a job. Lightning McQueen must be killed. No! Back up, senor! We have a lunatic cake novel. Oh, this this whole movie is just Mater being disrespected. 
and being put down. And I don't want to see it. So, he your bestie. Please don't say security get to him before Lightning McQueen can get to him, because I think that's going to be the case. No. And I can't slowly throughout the course of this movie, his rust has been like wiped away and we're seeing his blue colour pop through. I lost the race because of you. Poor you guy. Know, he's so me coded, reliving all your embarrassing moments. Like he's haunted. This poor Mandy. <gasps> he's in Big Ben. Where are we? We're in London, Major. You're in Big Ben. Big That's right. Death of Lightning McQueen. He's still alive. <laughs> Not for much longer. <laughs> Bro, someone needs to just smash their camera. They're doing too much. Like, just stop. For five seconds, my guys. Buckingham Palace? They stormed the palace? <laughs> Why don't they make Queen Lizzie as the... as a car? I'd love to have seen that. I don't know if that'd be allowed, but... It'd be quite funny. Back up, plan. We snuck a bomb in McQueen's pit. A bomb? Jesus Christ. he's gonna go... Kaboom! <laughs> that was lame. I really think I actually might prefer this movie to the first one because I didn't know how much I love Mater's presence. But that's definitely been highlighted by this movie because I think he's such like a wholesome character. So we'll be okay? Really? He wouldn't have left if I'd told him the truth. Bruh, you didn't give a girlie a chance or like a choice here as to whether or not she wants to be sacrificed? He just decided for her. I feel that's a ch choice she should have had. What are you doing? Trying to turn back time. Good job. Quick wow, she's so go boss. Holly and Sally. They weren't that creative with the names, were they, in that writing room? Listen to me. The bomb is on you. They knew you tried to help McQueen. When we were knocked out, they planted it. He's gonna self-destruct. He's gonna get eliminated? We can't be having this. They can't have him blowing up. We're not sacrificing Mater. But I tell you what, he's got to be the world's best backwards driver. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mater, you are the bomb. That's what I'm saying here. It's technology. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. We love to see their backup plan fail. Bruh, I thought that's what the world would look like now having flying cars. It doesn't look anything like that. And I'm kind of glad. I don't think I want flying cars. Not him curb stomping him. That one car. Again, the kill count, so high. It's voice activated. Everything is <gasps> voice activated these days. Oh my god. Voice <gasps> denied. Surely, with all their information, they can deactivate. Denied. With oh, it's the proper guys one, isn't it? We gotta have the reveal now of the actual boss man. Look, nobody takes me seriously. I know that now. This ain't Radiator Springs. Oh. Yes, it is. Oh, they've nearly made me cry in this movie like four times because of Mater. St. Paul's. We've got the London Eye, we've got Big Ben. Wow, they're hitting a lot of landmarks. Who's winning the race? Wait, is that Queen Lizzie? Did they actually make her a car? <laughs> okay, it's him. What? Wait, it is him? You've got to be crazy. Uh Never doubt yourself. <laughs> Never doubt yourself? Because I, I said this from the beginning and then I doubted myself and said it can't be him. I was right. Axel Rob created the race meter. Why would he want to hurt anyone? That's what I'm baffled about. And so everybody go back to using all. I mean, he said it himself with that these guys. Oh, that's a master plan. Because even I thought that's a bit weird for him to do that to himself. Peter. Someone do something. You're insane, you are. But we're not having him blow up at a. We got the confirmation he is the bad guy. The mm, engine from the embarrassing. But I love how they thought that dumbass Mater couldn't figure this out. But he did. 
Yeah, that's right. Mm -mm, he's an icon. He's a legend. He is the moment. The of of he's getting honorary knighthood. Oh, this was a better redemption than I could even ask for. Who's the sir? And so Tom. This is a hundred times better than Cars 1, the original one. I'm sorry. It just is. I was sceptical at first, but the way this has turned out... Oh, this was the perfect sequel. It's so rare as well that a sequel's better than the original. But this was miles better. This had such a good story. She I'm Mater's girlfriend. It's so nice to meet you all. She matched his freak. You got a nasty dent there. Yeah. Mr. Ramon can get that fixed up for you in no time. But she's learnt from Mater. She doesn't want it to be fixed. Oh, I I'm keeping that dent. It's way too valuable. <gasps> a valuable dent? Oh my God. This is such a wholesome movie. If you're implying that I switched out that rot good excuse for alternative fuel, oh. with my own natural, sustainable, organic biofuel, just because I never trusted Axelrod, you're dead wrong, man. Man, I can't. Also, we love to see that Radiator Springs is still thriving and that they even had their own little Grand Prix. You're still the smartest, most honest chap we've ever met. Don't forget, massively charming. Well, thanks. But as much fun as it was hanging with y'all, this. Is this his home? Long. Yeah. Bruh. They put all of it into this movie. All that magic, all that wholesome, all that goodness. <laughs> they were like ending every movie with the planes. I feel like they were trying to hard launch the planes movie. Because that happened. I know it wasn't as much of a bop as Cars was. Our first cup of coffee. We're on our third cup of tea. Oh, I can't. This song is too on the nose. It's too much. Mm -mm. Sorry. It's just pretty credits, but there's no post credit. That is the end of Cars 2. Let me know what you think of it. If you could see anything from my reaction, is that I loved it a lot. I was skeptical. I wasn't sure if this was a good plot line for a Cars movie, but it actually worked really well and I really enjoyed it. And it's now my favourite Cars movie that I've seen so far. I'll be very interested to see the third, third Cars movie eventually. But yeah. Um, I think that's enough for me. I think this might be quite a long video. I feel like there was quite a bit to say. And also my voice feels like it's going. So we're going to leave that there. Before we end it though, again, a big thank you to... Before we end this though, a big thank you to Skillshare once again for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, um, I'll let you guys decide now what video you want to watch next. Choose either or. And I'll see you in that one. Thank you. Bye.